So for the next 30 days, I'm going to be shoving my hands into a bucket of rice and seeing if this way of training can help increase the size and strength of my forearms, as well as seeing if this can improve my calisthenic performance. In case you didn't know what rice bucket training is, it's pretty simple. You just put your hands in a bucket of rice, move it around a little bit. This is gonna help you train those underdeveloped muscles in your wrists, hands, and forearms, and many different athletes use it like rock climbers, boxers, and power lifters. To begin this 30 day challenge, I didn't actually have any rice in my house, so I made my way to Walmart, and boy, was I surprised at the price. I don't know if this was a good price. I never actually bought rice before and I didn't know how much I needed, so I just got a bunch. Knew I had a bucket at my house, which my dad uses to clean his car. Not like I'm gonna be eating this rice anyways. Rice buckets acquired. And before actually doing the rice bucket workout, I just wanted to have something to compare myself to. So I did a visual test of my forearms, my left and right forearms. I would say it's a pretty decent start. And I also measured my forearms. My left came out at 9.5 inches and my right forearm came out at 9.6 inches. Also tested my dead hang, which I wasn't really impressed with but I got a minute 18 and finally I squeezed a 45 pound plate with one hand which had pretty similar results to one another but now it's time to start the challenge for a five gallon bucket it filled it up to like here not really sure what to do okay this feels kind of interesting so I'm gonna do this for 25 minutes doing whatever I can and then tomorrow I'll start following a tutorial or like a workout <laughs> So I don't know if I'm just not doing it right, but so far, just I don't feel an insane amount of stress on my forearms. Whew. All right, day one is complete. Okay, so it's day two, but now I've pulled up the most popular follow along workouts. It's only 10 minutes, and then we'll see if that actually makes a difference if you're actually following an actual workout. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is so much harder. <laughs> That was definitely a lot harder <laughs> when you're actually doing an actual workout. But yeah, my forearms and my hands definitely feel it. But yeah, that felt good. That felt good. It is day three. My hands, my forearms aren't too shabby, not too sore from yesterday's official workout. So let's go. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it. After the third day, I was definitely feeling some soreness in my hands and my grip strength. It did make the next couple workouts just a little bit harder and a little bit more frustrating, but it wasn't anything crazy. Day seven, and then from here on out, I'm going to increase the difficulty and the intensity of the training, because I feel like, you know, the, the one video just isn't enough. So the one week recap, here's just a few of my thoughts doing it for seven days straight. First things first, it's actually really fun. It's completely different. Like I've never trained my hands and my wrists in such a direct way before. You know, digging around with rice, it's just so different from my regular calisthenics training. Second thing, it actually gives you a really nice forearm pump. It targets your forearms, your wrists, and your fingers a lot more than I was expecting. And then the third thing I've noticed is that you really get out what you put in. So it really just depends how much effort you're putting into training with the rice. Cause you know, the rice training can be super easy if you're just not really doing anything to it. You're just tossing around, squeezing it a little bit. But if you really dig into it and really put a lot of effort into it, you get a lot more out of it. I'm not too sure if my forearms have grown in this one week, like in a very noticeable amount, but it's only been a week, so I can't really tell. Let's, let's keep on going. Day 10. Ever since the start of week two, the 10 minute video that I've been following, I've been doing it two times. So now I'm doing 20 minutes of rice bucket training every single day instead of just 10. I have been noticing my forearms are definitely more, I don't know, bigger, but I can see some muscles getting growing there. Something really interesting that I've noticed is that my fingers, like just from here on, they're definitely more red down here. Could just be from the friction of the rice, or it could be an increase of blood circulation, because it's kind of like what happened during my cold showers. Taking cold showers forces your blood to circulate a lot faster, so your skin turns red. That might be the same thing that's happening to my fingies. I should run, and look at that. Forearms are looking nice, but oh, woo -wee. Got home pretty late today. I'm about to go to bed and I realized I haven't done my rice training yet and I'm just gonna quickly do it before I head to bed. Today is day 14. After this rice bucket workout, it will be my 14 day anniversary fondling this bucket of rice. It's complete. Do it with me. You have your sheet, right? You're keeping track with me? Oh. 14 days. 
pretty much halfway there. Just a quick little recap of week two. Um, re week one, I did uh, 10 minutes of rice bucket training every single day. And then week two, I've increased it twofold. So now I'm doing 20 minutes every single day. I think I have noticed that definitely uh, my left forearm seems more muscular than my right forearm. But I think my forearms are definitely bigger. Have they improved my workouts at all? Don't feel too much of a difference. My forearms were never really a limiting factor with my, with my workouts, but we'll, we'll have to see if they actually got stronger near the end when I redo the measurements. But yeah, that's gonna be the week two recap. See if I can make it a little bit more challenging for the following two weeks, and then we'll be donezo. So for this third week, I've kind of switched around the workouts, doing a lot less variety of different exercises in the buckets, but I'm focusing more on the more challenging ones and going for higher rep. That seems to really get my forearms burning a lot more. That's what I'm gonna be doing for, the, for this third week, and I'll probably continue until the end of the challenge. Three best exercises that I've really felt the most tension and the best feel are in these extension things. I'm not too sure what they're called, but when you dig your hands deep into the rice and you try to flex your wrist up and fight against the rice, these will burn your forearms forearms like crazy. These muscles in your extenders aren't really used as much. And another one is just grabbing handfuls of rice for a few seconds at a time or just squeezing it as hard as you can for the last 30 seconds of your workout. These two exercises are definitely a must try if you're going to do this this rice bucket training. They feel so good on your wrists, so good on your forearms. I'm such a big fan of them. Another thing that I have noticed, which is kind of interesting, so I am right-handed and I do pretty much almost everything with my right hand. Not everything. However, through this rice bucket training, I've been noticing that my left forearm is actually looking more muscular, which is interesting. I can't remember the measurements, which one was bigger. It's probably my right, because my, my right forearm feels and is a lot stronger than my left, but my left just looks more muscular and more like striated. But that's just something interesting that I've noticed. Interesting. And this is kind of cool that I've realized um, near the end when I'm squeezing rice really hard, there's like a new muscle in my forearm that I, I can see. Let's let's see if I can give you guys a good, good view. All right, this is the right hand POV. All right, so this is what it looks like normally. I'll grab some rice. That thing right there. You see that? Looks like I'm like packing heat in my wrist. Whew. Pretty cool. All right, day 21. So this will be the third week of rice bucket training. I'm kind of excited. Oh wait. Gotta show off the forearms. I forearms have like definitely gotten a lot bigger, which is pretty cool because all I've been doing is shoving my hand in a bucket of rice, fondling it a little bit. And if that if that's all it takes to get some bigger forearms, you know, sign me up. Okay, day 21 of rice bucket fondling. Let's go. The one thing I'm most excited about is just letting my or my knuckles heal because they're so dry and cracked. And I've been trying to moisturize, but this this rice is really not helping. So after this video, I'm gonna have to really cut down the frequency to let my knuckles actually like fully fully heal. So three weeks of rice bucket training. Not much to say about this week. There has been a couple times this week that I was about to go to bed and I almost forgot to do my rice bucket training, but I haven't missed a day yet. 21 days consistently. Like I said, forearms are definitely getting bigger, which is pretty freaking cool. I did have a wrist injury before starting this video. Apparently this is supposed to be really good for wrist injuries and just preventing injuries in general. So, but my wrist is feeling absolutely amazing. It's cool, that's another plus. That's gonna be the three week recap. Yeah, I'm just excited to see results are and see if the improvements are, you know, worth it. All right, my knuckles starting to heal. Still a little bit cracked, my other hand. Yeah, it definitely dries out your hands. I don't know why it's just this one knuckle. Seems to be getting it worse. Huh. Day 24. We're getting closer every single day. Woo -wee, woo -wee. Not, not too much. So what's interesting is that I've been doing this for, like I said, 24 days. Every single day, I've just been going through the rice bucket training. It seems like I'm getting more connected with the rice. That's how it feels. It feels like the rice and I are getting on another level between our relationship, and it's getting stronger every single day. And we're back at the spot where it all started. Let's do this. Four more, and then we're done. Alrighty, I'm only two days away from completing this 30 day challenge. Not much to it, let's just dig in. I can't believe it's been 28 days and I literally just thought of that pun. 
there was just something about today's workout that actually that just felt really good. My forearms feeling juicy and pumped up. Woo! Look at that. So two more race bucket workouts tomorrow and then the day after and then I'm all done. Relax from here on. You don't have to say a word. So just let go. You probably already know what time it is or what day it is. It is day 30. So after this workout, I will have successfully done 30 days of rice bucket training. And then tomorrow I will do all the measurements and all the tests to see if I've improved in my grip strength or if I've increased the size of my forearms. I don't really want to do it today, it's just in case this training will affect my fatigue for the measurements. So I'm gonna do it all tomorrow. Final workout. Exciting. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, and we're off. As I was completing my last and final rice bucket workout, I was just reminiscing of all the good times we had together in the last 30 days. I'll let you guys in in this very mon monumental moment. You see that day 30? Oh, there we go. 30 days done. Officially been 30 days, I'm going to do all of the same measurements as I did before the challenge. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the final results. As you can see with my right forearm, there is a very slight difference in the overall size, but since my day one video is so blurry, it's kind of hard to tell. And my left forearm, I think, is a lot more noticeable. As you can see, that little bump at the top is a lot bigger than from day one to day 30. A really bigger difference in my left forearm than my right. All right, I actually have like an official measuring tape this time to measure 27 and a half centimeters 10.6 whoa my forearms grew a full inch Damn. all right now my left arm 27 and a half centimeters so the exact same measurement actually so yeah both my forearms grew a whole inch that is I don't know it's pretty crazy okay just to be safe I'm gonna measure it the exact same way with a piece of string and lining it up on a measuring tape just in case I messed up because I don't know if I believe that <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. It still says 10.5 to 10.6 inches. So legitimately, my forearms grew an entire inch. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. All right, with all those things out of the way, now let's actually go test to see if they're stronger. And now from the results of my dead hang, from day 30, I did end up hanging for a minute and 39 seconds. So that's around 20 seconds longer. Not anything too crazy. However, holding the 45 pound plates with my one hand, my right hand went up was 46 seconds and my left hand was 51 seconds. But yeah, you can clearly tell there's a difference between day one and day 30. So my forearms have gotten bigger, gotten more muscular, they've gotten stronger. All of that being said, do I recommend to you guys watching this? Uh, yeah, this is definitely a pretty effective way to do it. I was really nervous that when I was making this video that like at the end of like 30 days, my forearms would go for like 0.1 of an inch. And am I gonna keep doing this? Yes, but not every single day. I wanted to keep doing this at least once a week. It is pretty good at conditioning my wrists for calisthenics. So give the rice bucket training a try. But if you wanna see a 30 day challenge that is kind of the quite opposite of a forearm workout you can check my 30 days of no fat video but without further ado thank you so much for watching this video and peace out